A picture tells a thousand different stories. Some are joyful. Others are troubling. Everyone has their own interpretation. Now you can share yours. When you visit A Thousand Words, I want you to take everything you know about an exhibition and turn it on its head. My team and I have poured through thousands of images from the New South Wales State Archives and Sydney Living Museum's collections to unearth 100 of the most compelling images from 1880 to 1980. Now they're yours to interpret through the lens of your life experiences. You can comment on social media at the Museum of Sydney website or at the exhibit when it goes live and your responses will form part of the curated content creating an exhibition of a thousand words. Every comment you make helps us learn more about the stories behind our photographs. One image we posted on social media was this dramatic scene on top of a power pole. Originally, we had no idea what it was all about, but a member of the public knew that New South Wales electricity workers had to undergo pole top rescue training. They had to learn how to resuscitate the victim release their belt and lower them to the ground. And that's what you see in the image. For our exhibition, we've also commissioned some of the state's most inspiring young artists and writers to use our images as their creative springboard. In many cases, artists chose images that we really didn't expect them to, and the results are truly astounding. You can't see his face. He stands, framed by his uniform, a sinister caron, halfway between the earth and the heavens. The picture that I chose struck a very personal chord with me, but it brought up a lot of memories about my time being in prison. And so as I wrote my story, a lot of those stories and impressions kept coming back to me, especially about the people that I met. The picture itself features a prison guard, or rather his silhouette, backlit by a light from a big bay window down the corridor of a prison. And I wondered if that was perhaps the uh, first prison I'd actually walked into, which was the infamous Three Wing in Long Bay. It's interesting because that light on the window is actually where someone would have been hanged. They would have had a beam between the two cells at the end of the corridor and a trap door underneath. And you can see that there are two big barn doors, which would have been where they would have collected the body, put it into a dray or a vehicle and taken it off to be buried. I would hope that when people look at this picture, they don't just see what's happening. Hopefully, as the exhibition title says, they can also imagine who the people in those pictures might be and what their story could be. I chose this image of a group of women who are standing at what looks to be um, like a courtyard and they're standing with their arms just straight above their heads in a very prone and vulnerable position. Um, at the corner of the shot, there's a man who is standing and watching them, but there's a shadow across his face. I found that there was so many questions to be asked of that scene because you don't know who these women are. Um, what time period this was part of, um, who that man is or why they're being watched. So to respond to this photograph, I chose to write a poem. The poem is called Be Error, and that poem talks about uh, male surveillance, the bodies of women, and how we've been taught to occupy space, as well as how we challenge that in our inner lives. After experiencing the photograph and after reading the poem, I want people to ask themselves how this image, how the scene in that image is reflected in their everyday lives. To me, A Thousand Words is an exhibition that allows you to assign your own meaning to one of the state's major cultural collections. For the first time ever, you're not just being told about our state's history, you're getting involved in telling it yourself. And that's something we want everyone to be part of.